pKa values of phosphoric acid are 2.2, 7.2, and 12.7. A phosphate buffer of pH equals 7.4 can be prepared using, uh, using like different options. But they give us the correct answer. They just want to know how did we get that answer. Okay, so this is question six, I believe. Uh, so basically the definition of a buffer is that it has both acidic and basic properties. So they give us the pKa values for ph phosphoric acid. So let me write out phosphoric acid. And I'll show how it first dissociates into a proton plus H2PO4 minus. So the pKa for this reaction is equal to 2.2. And you'll notice that this means that it's very acidic. So that means it's very likely for the phosphoric acid to donate one of its protons. So this is a polyprotic, uh, polyprotic compound, so it's actually going to undergo deprotonation again. So H2PO4- minus dissociates to another proton plus HPO4-2- minus, and they said that this pKa is equal to 7.2. This is more of like a neutral pKa value, but it's still like a little less than the phosphate buffer that we're looking for. So let's also look at what happens if HPO4 2 minus loses one of its protons. Yet again, you end up with PO4 3 minus, and the pKa of this is 12.7. So this just means that HPO4 2 minus is considered like a weak acid. It's not likely for it to donate one of its protons. So to answer the question, when you want to create a buffer, that has a pH of 7.4. We're going to need both H2PO4- minus and HPO4-2- minus. just to make a little more basic. Because if we use just straight up phosphoric acid, whose pKa is 2.2, that'll affect the pH of the buffer so much that your buffer won't even be like a neutral pH. It'll just be so much more lower. So that's why we need... um the H2PO4 and HPO4 2 minus. So let's see the answer from our junior tutor. The main concept here is buffers, uh, both acidic and basic properties. They give us three pKa values. These are known as the equivalence points or pH at which the acid and base are equal, hence making a great buffer. 
So you can see there are three hydrogens making it extremely acidic, therefore it is the one that has the lowest pKa. And then they have the reaction that gives a pKa of 7.2. And then the last step is the hardest to remove the hydrogen, it has a pKa of 12.7. If you want a phosphate buffer at 7.4, you can't only use H2PO4, which has a pK of 7.2. So to compensate, you need some of the HPO4 minus 2 degradation with a pKa of 12.7 to balance it out. This solution is correct. Okay, so let's move on.